Hello, hello. Awkward intro. Hello. <clears throat> I am going for a hike today by myself because Morticia is a monster to other dogs. I'm really excited to go out and be in nature. I'm like filling this water bottle while I talk, which is just spilling water on me. My resolution is to hike more this year because I miss when I used to hike all the time back in Alaska. I just miss who I was then. And I also just want to be more in shape and see more of California. I really don't mind doing things on my own. Like, I obviously have always, always done this on my own. I go hiking by myself all the time back in Juneau. I'm just a little bit sad because it's like, oh yeah, remember I bought a dog because I didn't want to hike alone anymore and I knew my boyfriend wouldn't hike with me. She turns out to be a freaking monster. Like, I guess I should say I adopted her, you know? It wasn't a purchase, like, are you kidding me? I just took all that time to fill this water bottle and I already lost the cap, which means it's completely worthless. Now I have to go inside and get my water bottle. Today is just like not a good start. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, I just want to get into hiking again because I just like miss that part of me. And I feel like I've been really stressed out from my job. Oh God. Just got a text that Mortis is throwing up. So I guess I'm gonna go back inside. Okay, thank God that was a false alarm. She did not throw up at all. DJ is just laying in bed and thought he heard that. Good thing I hadn't left the house yet because I would have turned around and come home and that was a false alarm. Um, I don't know what Mortis is going through. She's super sad that I left without her. I, she probably knows I'm gonna go hiking. I put on my walking shoes. I always walk her in them. Um, but I don't care. Listen, I would love to bring Morticia with me. That would make me happier than anything in the world. But she is awful with other dogs. And now, lately, with people too. So, okay. Deep breaths. It's fine. The dog didn't puke. She's just weird. I want to also listen to the kind of music I used to listen to back, like the end of high school when I was hiking all the time. The end of high school and the beginning of college when I lived at home. I used to just hike all the time and I listen to like cool indie folk music <laughs> and whenever I hear that kind of music it reminds me of that time in my life. I don't necessarily like miss that time obviously like I'm glad I'm grown now and I just miss like the chillness and the peace of nature I guess so I'm gonna find that again today. Okay I've never been to this trail before but it looks nice. Um, unfortunately my phone didn't charge the whole drive even though it was plugged in. So hopefully I don't die today. My service is bad up here, so I can only listen to music that I have downloaded. So I'm just listening to Folklore and Evermore again <laughs> since I downloaded those albums for the plane. You know, it's predictable, but it is folky. Now what part of the city I'm in, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure those are the Hollywood Hills because that looks like downtown. Let's see if you guys can see. Well, there's the downtown skyline kind of in the clouds out there. I'm not a cryptologist. No, a cart. I'm not a cart cartographer, but I do know big words. And one thing that it's just not the same about hiking in LA is like there's nowhere that's complete tranquility. I mean there's like huge city view you can hear the traffic and there's people everywhere. There's nowhere to get away from the people. So it's like you never really feel like I'm out alone in nature. I mean I guess I should try maybe a longer harder hike for that. So there's definitely another part to this trail that 
goes up and looks like it'll go up that mountain. Um, and there's also a campground. But I just went to the viewpoint and I'm gonna call that good for today. You see how much just being in nature and getting exercise makes me happy? I'm in such a better mood. In the future, I can go up this hill and I'm excited for that. You know, my favorite thing in life is looking forward to something, which might be why like October through December, it's so much fun for me because I'm looking forward to Halloween, even though I don't do anything on Halloween, and then looking forward to Christmas and my birthday. But now it's like January, February, March, the worst months. Like eventually I'll start looking forward to summer. I love summer, that's my favorite season, so. But January, February really are the worst. Okay, I'm glad I turned around when I did because that was a chilly walk down. Um, I don't like filming when people are around and there were way too many people also. Oh, thank God. I thought I had lost my camera. Wow, that was an awful accent. I was doing so good. I thought, um, it's dark. Yeah, I, I thought I, uh, thought I had lost my camera. Thought, I thought, thought I had lost my camera. And, um, it's exactly where I thought it might be. But that's how long it's been since I filmed. So I'm sorry to you, my viewers. I apologize. I haven't filmed anything all week, which is why I'm filming now. Even though there's nothing exciting going on, I'm making veggie pasta. And, um, that's about it, really. Oh my gosh, I have the happiest dog alive out here. Drop it. We have not been out here in quite some time. Anyway. Um, I just like have not filmed this week. I threw it already, it's over here. Look, look for it, find the ball. Um, I've been working, you know, getting back in the saddle, which um, takes a lot of energy. Oh, she pooped, gotta go. I've just been working back on my grind, you know, getting that dough, getting that bread and it wears me out. My job is a little bit more than it used to be, so I just like, after work, I just wanna chill, I just lay down. I'm also like quarantining since I traveled and also, oh, she destroyed the ball. Anyway, also um, completely broke, so can't like afford to go anywhere if I wanted. And kind of scared to drive after that car wreck still. So anyway, yeah. Just like nothing interesting has happened. I've been on TikTok today. I was on TikTok already for two and a half hours and that's not my record, but I have been trying to cut back a little bit. I've been reading a lot. I finished my book today. Man, it's been a busy day and I feel like it's Friday, but it's Thursday when I'm filming this. And so, um, yeah, I just, <sighs> I just did a lot today, but none of it was like interesting to film, so. There's a cop and she just laid down far away from me. My goodness. I just don't know with California if I'm gonna get in trouble for having her off leash. Stay close. Okay, never mind. Cop doesn't look like it cares. I know this is illegal, but she can't go to a dog park because she's mean to other dogs. And she needs exercise and I'm in a private area of the park and there's no one here. And I'm being cautious and I'm not throwing the ball too far. I don't know, I've been singing everything lately. Well, I guess I'm gonna go take my uh, 40 minute or so walk now and uh, peace out, homies. She, she got exercise for the first time in like months. I mean, besides just walks. And she's like really falling behind. Like, are you okay, baby? Why are you walking so slow? And she's got the ball in her mouth. Why are you going so slow? It's actually great to not have her pulling me. So maybe we'll go to the park before we walk more often. Hey guys, I just had a bad memory come to my mind. I haven't had anyone to talk to about it, so I'm just gonna talk to my camera. Um, 
I just remembered that Harry Styles was seen holding hands with Olivia Wilde and they might be dating. I'm sorry that it's one of the worst things I've heard like 2021 is off to the worst start I hate Olivia Wilde ever since I watched Richard Jewell and I know she was playing a character in that movie but her character was so annoying now I see her face and I think about how annoying she was and Harry Styles better dump her ass soon. That's all I'm saying. He deserves better.